Well, good morning, internet. <laughs> Today's a bit different. Uh, people often ask me about how I make my videos for YouTube and my other socials, and I thought I'd give you one of the uh, <laughs> um, almost compulsory studio tours. Uh, I'm a one-man band. In fact, uh, basically it's me making everything, the filming, the holding of the cameras, um, uh, the editing, uh, but I do, I must admit, I do have an excellent editor in Pakistan who I'll link to uh, in this video, so Umair, who does quite a bit of the, oh, you could say it, the boring parts, cutting up multicams for me, and he's great at doing that bouncy text for TikTok. But anyway, so here we are at the Smart Energy Lab, but where the magic happens is in here, in this rather unassuming building uh, known as the studio. It's actually an old carpentry shed, so let's go inside. So this is the studio, and now it's uh, not very flash. <laughs> um, this is a little map of all the systems that we've currently got connected to our microgrid, something like 30 systems. Um, somewhere to make your tea and coffee, espresso, uh, lots of inverters and tools and stuff lying around the place. Uh, so let me uh, tell you a bit about the equipment. What got me really, uh, in terms of quality step up, was getting Blackmagic cameras for my studio. So I've got um, a couple. I've got the Blackmagic uh, Pocket Cinema 6K Pro, which is awesome. Uh, really beautiful quality uh, image. And the 4K. Um, so these two are kind of my A cam and B cam. And occasionally as a C cam or uh, for filming uh, sort of out on site or in front of equipment, a smaller rig, which is the Sony FX30. Um, got the, the famous Sigma 18 to 35 mil lens for that one, it's a beauty, and I've got some Canon glass uh, on the uh, Blackmagic cameras. So, let's come into the studio. So the, uh, the setup's pretty basic, uh, one big light, there it is there, woohoo, very big. Uh, and I've got a hair light up above me, it just helps to give a bit of separation. Uh, also, I've gone for the um, orange teal look. Uh, so that teal color, which is a, a specific HSI, uh, I think it's 189 from memory, uh, and the, uh, the orange, those colors really help pop skin tones, or certainly the, the teal from, uh, from skin tones. So that was a deliberate choice of, of kind of color palette, as it were. Um, got quite a lot of bling around the place, you know me, I like my bling. Um, and also got a lot of equipment that's sort of, you know, on show, I suppose. So you'll, you'll see different things popping up in the background here. Anyway, once I've finished filming, um, I go to my ingest station. So over here is my uh, ingest station where I uh, unload all my camera media, uh, send it to a network storage device. So I've actually got three NASs now because I keep running out of space, all on a 10 gigabit network uh, around the studio. And you'll see shortly the editing suite. Uh, in terms of equipment, apart from the, the main cameras, I do quite a bit with the small cameras. And down here we've got um, let's see if I can get the camera to go down there for you. Uh, the uh, DJI Action 4, Action 3, because I started with the 3, then the 4 came out. I really love the Insta360 for getting some <laughs> amazing effects. I've got some small Sony cameras, ZV-E10, um, some uh, mics. In fact, I'm recording at the moment on the DJI Mic 2, and I've got recently got the new Mic 2 kit here. I've also got the Mic 1 kit. Uh, in terms of studio audio, um, I use the sound devices. Uh, uh, it's the Mark 3, the sound devices. So this is pretty cool. Um, little unit here because really beautiful 32-bit float recordings uh, and my little monitor here it's also a recorder is a Ninja V so that helps me sort of preview my different cameras so I can switch between cameras uh, and see what the, the view is so that's um, that's basically the the studio setup, but I've also got a little chill out zone uh, for clients. Now I've only recently upgraded this. It used to be just a couple of folding chairs in the back of the room, but what I've done is separated part of my studio off with sound blankets. Because this is an old carpentry shed and uh, the acoustics aren't great, you, you might have noticed if, uh, if you look up, there's an awful lot of sound absorbing materials up there. It's just to, to 
keep the room tone as uh, dry as possible. So behind these uh, sound blankets is my little chill out zone. <laughs> so this is for, um, let me just turn around for you. There you go. Uh, for, for clients to hang out in when I'm recording, because often I've got uh, an entourage with one of my uh, subjects. And just to make them feel really at home, uh, there they are, they're sitting by a nice cozy fire while the rain's trickling down. <laughs> and of course there's lots of tech in these, these spaces. These are all systems that we've installed and tested. They're all working, they're all contributing to the power consumption. Um, there's my latest beauty, the um, SIG Energy Sigen Store uh, hybrid inverter, pretty awesome thing. But uh, let me take you a little bit further, um, we're going to go to the editing suite. Now it's another building, so we're leaving what I call a studio which started off as an old carpentry shed that my good friend Phil built many years ago. And uh, check this out, <laughs> a bus. Yep, um, there's quite a lot of old buses here uh, at the uh, Murumura Co-op. People used to live in them while they were building their homes, but uh, it's just got stuck here. It's now a timber storage. And this very humble little building, uh, it's called the Dacha. Uh, it's a Russian word meaning a little holiday house. Uh, it, it's been many things over its life, um, but these days it's my uh, editing suite. And to, for my kids, it's a bit of a play zone. So let me um, bring you into the dacha. Here we go. <laughs> right. So this is uh, a pretty small space. You could say it's almost a tiny house, but it's actually two stories. I'll take you upstairs in a minute. A um, little bit of a kitchen area here, which is uh, nice just for, you know, making tea and coffee, lunch, etc., without having to disturb the, the people in the main house. And uh, this is my uh, main editing suite here. So it's a, a Mac Studio Ultra, a nice big screen, uh, and Blackmagic uh, editor keyboard. Really love that. So if I can show you that one down there, Blackmagic editor keyboard. I'll just turn around for you. Um, these things have come about because I'm, I've been trying to speed up my productions and part of the um, effort to speed up is have the right equipment for the job as with any trade. And uh, the editor keyboard really helps. Pretty damn expensive, but uh, it uh, gets the work done. Um, some studio monitors just for checking audio. So it's basically the primary editing suite and I've got one of these funky wobbly chairs. <laughs> Wobble, wobble, wobble. Uh, stops me getting too lazy. Uh, means that you're always kind of slightly on edge sitting on it. You can never kind of slouch and relax or you'll just start to wobble over. So let's go up to uh, <laughs> part two of the editing suite. Now, <laughs> here we go, up the stairs. This is where I do quite a bit of the rendering because uh, it takes time and it chews up a lot of processor power and it means I can still keep on editing downstairs on the other computer. So uh, this is my rendering suite. I think it's all gone to sleep. Um, so basically a, a really um, uh, pimped out PC down here with uh, an RTX 3090 card in it, I think it is, yeah. Lots of RAM and uh, it just gets the job done. Also, it's on the, the 10 gig network. A little bit of an office desk over here for some admin stuff. And yet another uh, chill out zone. Bit of a gaming setup here. My kids are into gaming. Uh, they're trying to teach me how to play Fortnite, but uh, I'm still pretty hopeless. So there you go. Um, that's a, a little tour of uh, my setup here at the Smart Energy Lab in terms of production, how I make my videos, the equipment I use. Uh, so anyway, um, if you ever want me to make you a video, <laughs> check me out. Okay, see ya.